Traders, Zellman here. It's August 29th, 2018. It's a Wednesday. It's after the market close. Going to provide another trading report update on ticker symbol CELZ, Creative Med Technology. Now, um, in my previous tutorial, we talked about how uh, cells uh, broke through the trend line. Now, let me put this back in here because apparently it disappeared. And uh, let me go into the. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. That's about right. Let me just back this up a little bit. That's about right. Okay, it's not perfect, but you know, uh, trend lines are usually guidelines and they're never exact to the T. So take that into consideration. All right, so now, yesterday, excuse me, yeah, yes, correct, yesterday. Um, Cells exploded above the downtrend. It was pretty much trading sideways and then popped up, right? And it broke through. Uh, I stated that there's resistance about a nickel yesterday. And uh, let me show you what that looks like in case you haven't reviewed yesterday's tutorial before I proceed further. But if you have, obviously you know what we're talking about. And uh, where are you? Horizontal, oh, there you go. So. This was the resistance level yesterday, around a nickel or so. It went to 0 0.049, uh, topped out over there, created resistance after around 10 a.m., I think like 9.57, 9.58 in the morning. And then from there, just sell the selling pressure throughout the whole day, uh, you know, and trailed lower. And I stated uh, support for uh, sells is 0 .03, uh, 0 uh, excuse me, 0 0.032, all right? So that's around the support level. But I want you guys to take a look at this downtrend. Because it broke its downtrend and it's trading above it. And I did say it's going to head lower after it needs to consolidate before it goes higher. It still looks like it's in the buy zone. But obviously people took their profits because, uh, you know, trading is about making money. So if you don't take your profits, you're not making money. Okay. So now it trailed down to this downtrend. Now, in theory, this downtrend is support. Now, she can keep trading all the way down, all right? Because downtrend, in theory, is support. Now, what I want you to pay attention to this downtrend uh, is eventually, and I'm just going to remove this horizontal support. Remember, 0 0.032 is as support, okay? Now, eventually, if she doesn't head higher while she's trailing down, and she's trailing downwards, but staying above this downward trend, which is now support, by time either right before at or right after the cross you see this cross x marks the spot that's where the treasure is right so once she gets around that range or just after that range and she's trading above this downtrend and this uptrend once they connect she's boom okay now this is obviously based on technical trend lines okay now, if she trades under here, and it goes under this X mark, and she's trading under this downtrend, she's going lower. Do I think that's going to happen? Not really. But you have to understand that trading is a language, and trading can change as time progresses. So even though I don't see it right now at this moment, tomorrow could paint a different picture where it could happen. So this is what I mean by trading is a language. Every single day as stock, the, the stock in general that you're reviewing moves up and down, it's creating a picture for you. And while that picture is being created, you're beginning to understand what its next moves, uh, what should its next moves be. It's not always right, uh, but majority of the times it is. And uh, this is how most traders are successful. Uh, the whole goal is to maximize, prof pro maximize your profits and minimize your risks, right? That's why if something goes against you, you might as well take a small loss than a large loss. Stock like sales jumps up from a quarter of a penny to a half a penny, uh, doubled in two days, and you didn't take at least half off. Well, you know what? That sucks. But learn how to take profits. This is what trading is about. Okay, so let me continue forward. So now I told you watch this X marks the spot, right? Move. 
and you see how this uptrend and downtrend this cross mark is coming together now I want to show you what could happen and what I think is going to happen if this plays out the way it should um, obviously you consolidated it went downwards 0 0.032 is support but I removed that uh, briefly but what I want to show you and I'm this is going to get a little crazy over here I'm just going to do a little doodles all right all right so I'm gonna, there's a reversal head and shoulders that's trying to be developed I'm not saying it is developed but it's trying okay and we'll find out as it plays this downtrend okay so this is the head right here okay and I'm sorry it's not pretty but there you go all right so that's the head this head right here this is the shoulder this is a higher shoulder right so now we're expecting it to paint the same picture but the opposite right now so we're looking for a shoulder around here see where x mar marks the spot okay it's funny how it looks like it's similarities like deja vu but the opposite end is approaching the next shoulder should be around here now it's not exact but that's ballpark and after that the neckline will be broken and hopefully she shoots up okay so it should look like something like this oh all right oh i could do this something like this okay um let me just undo those uh doodles because they get me dizzy uh but that's pretty much what it looks like it's trying to do now, based on news or anything that comes out, uh, could help it or disrupt it. But pay attention to this downtrend. It should stay above here. And if she stays above, by the time we get to this cross mark, it's like, you know, finding treasure for pirates. She should pop, head higher if she stays above. If she below, she's below this trend line and she goes below the cross, she should head lower. But I really don't think that's the case as of right now. I think it's too early. I still think she's a buy. It's just sellers came in, took their profits. It's consolidating. It was at its resistance at 0 0.05. I showed you guys that yesterday. Uh, let's see what happens moving forward. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at Trading Teacher. If you want to learn the live trading language, and I keep saying live trading, but if you want to learn the trading language, visit my site and go to thetradingteacher.com and review our live training course section.